honestly cannot believe it's already the start to a new week and a new vlog. I cannot believe it. <laughs> this whole past week was a whirlwind. There was a lot going on, so makes sense. But does it feel like we're going faster than normal? <laughs> does it feel like the whole world is just sped up? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna flip my phone over so it doesn't distract me so I can get on with what I wanted to do. But welcome to a new week. I'm getting ready for the day. I still have on my robe because there's two things in here that I need to use. Let me just get into it instead of do what I normally do, which is ramp up the uh, conversation for minutes on end without saying what it is. I do that all the time in editing. I'm just like, Sienna, get to the point. These two things are related to each other. This is some tanning product. I recently started using natural organic tanning products. I am just omitting anything ingredient wise that concerns me. I had already started using this tanner and purely just because when it came up on Amazon, I was Googling natural tanners and this came up. Then I was like, oh, I wanna know more about this brand. And so I looked them up and then I saw one of their videos about all the toxic stuff that's in self tanner. And that was when I was like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done putting that on my body and absorbing it into my skin. Beauty by Earth is the name of the brand and the self tanner mousse, I just basically re-upped on what I already had. So I've used this product. I've gone all the way through this is my second one. It's a clear foam. There's no tan guide. So tan guide is when the tanner has a little color in it. So when you apply it, you can see where you've applied it. No tan guide, which I like because tan guides are what stain everything. That's what stains your sheets and your clothes. And when you don't have a tan guide, you don't end up staining. I don't care if I can see where it's gone. And I know that the tan will be there in an hour or two. That's the other thing. If you're impatient and you need it like it tan quickly. That's why people like tan guides too, because it darkens you right away. But I can wait. I'm fine. <laughs> I can hold off. And plus, honestly, I like to apply this at night after a bath, put this on, go to sleep and wake up tan. I've got the fair to medium. In the summertime, I could go up to medium to dark because I feel like this past round, I was at the end of summer and I could have gone darker. But now that it is officially <laughs> pale season then this is actually perfect but I build it on so I do about two coats of it it pumps out you know good old-fashioned foam style and then I didn't use their glove last time I didn't get the kit so this comes in a kit where you get the foam and the gloves so oh what's in here there's multiple things in here it wasn't aware oh cute so they do give you a little <laughs> A little face one. I did, I'm out of these. I had a bunch of these at one point. I don't know what happened to all of them. I just think they just got destroyed, but a little tan glove. And then the regular old, I love the black gloves. They're my favorite ones because they just don't look disgusting. I have a tart one that's like purple and it's just so filthy. It's really gross. Nice. What a nice soft velvety glove. That's so nice. And then what's this? Oh, is that like an exfoliator? Oh, wow. So another little glove that you can go in probably in the shower and just really give yourself a good exfoliate. And especially if you're trying to remove tan from the last time. That's great. Now I'm going to use the face tan as well because of what's in here. This one will be new to me. The self tanning water bronzing face mist with hyaluronic acid. Love. I love to use these around my face, but also I wash my hands a lot and use a lot of hand cream. So I like to just kind of hit this area with the spray and the tops of my hands too. So this will be great. But yeah, those are the two things I've gotten from Beauty by Earth. I'm so excited about it because this is officially my tanning brand. The tan, I'm gonna go do that after we open up this. The Ipsy Glam Bag X has arrived. This is the big one. And this one is the Pat McGrath and I'm excited about it oh my god we have the it's the cold processed stem cell scalp serum i just did tortoise shell nails last night because i'm gonna i have some content to film and i wanted my nails to look cool here's the oh cute look at that i love the bottle A frosted glass gets me every time every time on clean, damp, or dry hair, so I can put it on this hair. Along the hairline in part, massage onto scalp, leave on, and don't rinse. New shampoo and condish. Gosh, I have hair stuff already. I'm so pumped. Sulfate free, sulfate free. 
The art of perfumery should be intuitive, a commodity we're demystifying fragrance in order to make the exceptional accessible. We like to keep things simple, no smoke and mirrors, just a passion for ethical, elemental, and atypical. That's all great and stuff, but what's the notes? <laughs> I want to know what the notes are. I was hoping the box was going to tell me. I do like that though. I like all of what they're saying here. I'm picking up what you're putting down, commodity. It looked like full size. The box was very deceiving. It's still a small bottle, but that's a deluxe size small bottle. That's a big small bottle. That's still really nice. Oh, it smells like vanilla. Nice. It's called uh, the commodity gold. Did I even say that yet? Okay, now we're getting into some of the Pat McGrath stuff. Divine Rose Luxe Quad Eyeshadow. Oh, I'm oh, so excited about that. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at these colors. So I'm going to be filming a holiday makeup look and I needed some new stuff to play with to make this video as a little like advertisement for the makeup that I will be doing throughout the next couple of months out of the hair salon. I was originally going to do something green, but now I'm thinking, do I need to do something with these? Look at that pinky rose. Oh, it's so pretty. It's just the way that they're, uh, the Pat McGrath products apply. It's just instantly gorgeous, but yeah, this is going to be really nice. And you know, I love this packaging. You know, I love that packaging <laughs> with roses on it. It feels like Christmas right now. Honestly, every time I get this box, I'm like, it's Christmas. It feels so exciting. Pat McGrath Dark Star Mascara. Oh, good. I need a new mascara. I've been using the MAC one for a while now and it's dying. Like it's at the end of its ropes. So I am just, this came just in time. This is going to be perfect for my lower lashes and then when I take these lashes off I'm on the fence if I want to put on another lilac set or not because I don't really I don't I don't plan on going anywhere but it's been really nice to just have them on look at this look at this beautiful mascara tube Ooh, it's so pretty here's the wand if anybody's curious I have to smell mascara I don't know why too. That is so nice. Now we have Give Them Lala Beauty. This is an add-on. Lala is a um, character or like one of the cast members on Vanderpump, <laughs> but she's sober. I always just connected with her because she's sober. This is her beauty line and this is just a cream blush, which I was in the market for a new cream blush. So I thought, why the heck not? Vanessa Merrick's Beauty Do Wet Balm Highlighting Face and Body Balm. Ooh, look at that. That's cool looking. It's an eyeliner stamp. Is this Too Faced? Why is there two? Oh my gosh, because they're left and right. Okay, interesting. Don't know how I feel about that. A couple things left. So here's Too Faced. How funny. We have the Sun Bunny Radiant Duo Tone Bronzer. We have this little packaging situation going on. That's really pretty. Okay, there's two more things in here, oh my God. Okay, Bobbi Brown Highlighting Powder. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God. Why is it making me think of a video game? <laughs> it looks like Tetris. So pretty, this packaging, I'm, I'm into it. Cool, well we definitely have some stuff for me to use in my video later, so that's that's great. And this was an add-on. I like to add on the jewelry from their little bobble bar, bobble bar. I just thought I would try some of these little double, you know, like they're, what are they called? How in the Jesus Christ? So you put that in. I already have stars tattooed on my ear, but they look like just blobs now because of how old they are. Okay, and then you put the back on and then you put this on. Did I do it? Oh my God, I did it. Please don't rip this out of your ear, Sienna. This seems like, because I forget it's there, that scares me. I don't know if I'm responsible enough to be able to have these types of earrings in my ears, but they look really cool. Uh, something came and I wanted to unbox this with you guys real quick because this was part of what I was hoping would be here so that I can do all of this together. That way I can try this on throughout the week. House Labs is Lady Gaga's line and I saw like an Instagram ad, I think it was, that said you can try the foundations first before you buy. Look! Those are so cute. So they send you these little samples so that you can custom match yourself at home. It's great. 
I mean, it would work if I didn't tan and I, this is going to fade. This is fair cool. Still too light. Ooh, this is Rebecca's color right here. These are too light for me, which means at least I can toss these into my makeup kit because these will be handy. So these are too light for me. So I won't be using these in any, well, could I get away with this one in tomorrow's video? Let's see, let's see. That might, I actually might be able to wear that one, but I want to order the next set. That works. I could still use it. So that way, um, I just want to use a lot of the new makeup in the next coming video that I'm doing for my holiday thing. So that's all. Here's today's outfit. I'm wearing a faux pleather mini skirt with my Marc Jacobs over the knee boots. We are going to stop off and see Jerome because he has apples and he is a mind reader. <laughs> because my mother-in-law, when she was here, was just talking about making homemade apple butter. I'm actually pretty hungry, so I'm gonna get some food, pick up some apples, and then I'm gonna head out. Okay, well, mission accomplished. I did actually end up filming the Christmas reel today. Thank goodness. So I've been able to check that off my list. What I used is the Pat McGrath. So I used that on the lid and I didn't find that um, any of the shimmery colors in it. It's a little bit more of a deep rose. So none of the shimmers were bright, bright, bright. So I ended up using the Norvina. I went in to get this like high glitter. I used the glitters that are in here that you can pat and they're like snowflakes. And then I just messed around with some of the brightening, but I used that for all of the glitter you see, like spread out over the eye. Pat McGrath eyeshadow, the deeper one here as the liner for above and below. So I created a double wing and I did that with this. And then I used this one on here. And then I used Bobbi Brown highlight. I did use that, it's really pretty. Did everybody eat Che? Do you eat your dinner? Here are the apples that Jerome gave me. I can't wait to make apple butter with them. All right, so we're gonna try this. We're gonna try this this morning, House Labs by Lady Gaga. I actually, I don't know why I'm doing this. I sprayed the self tan face stuff on last night because I just wanted to see how it was gonna look. I'm stained. My lips are stained pink from that lipstick. Uh, I wanted to try the Lady Gaga foundation, so we're gonna give it a whirl. The coverage is nice, and if I didn't spray this tanner and have it on my neck, I would honestly match, so that's the part that's confusing. I feel like I need two colors for when I just like don't feel like tanning. Anyway, I'm gonna do my face full of makeup, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it in a reel. This is the foundation. Um, I feel like even with the tanning stuff that I have on, which is supposed to be light medium, that I definitely can pull it off if I wear a bronzer, but it is it is too light and I need to order the next level. You pay $12 for the kit if you don't end up buying the foundation. I am about to make the quickest soft boiled egg over toast and the toast is a locally baked focaccia. My skin looks good, I like it. I'm just looking in the natural light. Ta-da! Meet George Jetson. Jane, his wife. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I got an egg cooker and I didn't even know that these existed. And they're so space age looking. I mean, doesn't this look like a 1950s invention? So what you do is you, it has a little plug and it has a little tray and you have a little cup <laughs> and you fill the cup to the part that you want the egg to be. So on the side of it, it says soft, medium, hard, and custard. What's that? So it tells you how much water to put in the base according to how you want your egg to be. Now, I love myself a soft boiled egg over toast where it's runny when you cut it. Uh, says it's really also convenient if you're making hard boiled eggs to do deviled eggs because it'll cook many at a time without breaking. It keeps them sturdy. So you pour the water, let's do it. You fill the cup. So I want soft. So you add the water. We'll do two eggs. This excites me about the prospect of having 
like my own chickens to create my own eggs with, but I'm just not there yet. I'm not, I'm not in chicken land yet. All right, now you would think that you would do pointy side up, but you actually do that pointing down. And then the cup actually has a little prick pin on it and you want to get it centered on the egg and just give it a little poke and it just puts a little hole in the egg. Just like that, super easy to do. Now you add your lid, plug it in and turn it on. And it makes the most horrific sound so you cannot forget about it. See how it steams? So it has little holes at the top, don't put your hands on it, but it steams the egg inside of the little egg machine. <laughs> This is an alert from your emergency broadcasting system. Now here's the beautiful thing about these eggs. They don't crack until you cut them. But I also really like it with this balsamic glaze on top. So I do that. And then I have some of this salt that is flavored with truffle. And that, my friends, is my delicious runny egg toast. Someone is trying to figure out if they're coming or not. <laughs> I am actually about to go pick up my grocery order. Woohoo! This is the most exciting content people have ever seen before. I was gonna take the dogs for a stroll because it's actually really sunny out. We are here to get groceries. Hopefully the dogs will keep themselves calm. Did I just pull in and a spot that doesn't count for five. I don't know what your angle is, but I was hoping that you can see the dogs. And uh, I'm curious how this is gonna work with the grocery people. Actually, I need to check my trunk. Stay in your seat. What are you doing? You are constant. Nah. Problem child. Stay in your seat. You have to stay there. Okay? Stay in that seat. Get in your car seats. You're just getting whacked in the face. <laughs> you guys are ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. The seat is tall enough to where he couldn't even figure out where the grocery voice was coming from when she was loading it and they were just looking around like barking at the sky because they couldn't figure out where she was talking from and she was talking to them she was like saying oh little puppy and they're just like ah <laughs> do you guys want to go for a little w-a-l-k tina leave that bird alone <laughs> she's has a thing for crows. <laughs> it's a beautiful afternoon. Beautiful afternoon. Well, that went pretty good. We had a little corgi that wanted to sniff and meet and Marvin's just kind of a jerk. He's not when we have dogs at the house like for guest doggies but like he gets to meet them in his backyard where he's not on a leash but as soon as he gets on a leash he just gets really protective I think of me and so it just makes him act a little bit like Grr, you know and, it, and I'm always apologizing to owners of dogs like I swear he's friendly. <laughs> he's just a little like weird when he's on a leash and um, most people are understanding of that but lately I've been really enjoying walking them on the retractable because it gives them a little bit more freedom to run around while we're walking but then if like we're somewhere like in a city environment I would like pull them in closer but let's get these groceries home they've been sitting in the trunk for like 15 minutes have I mentioned that I love pickup orders <laughs> I love it so much. I'm gonna show you what I got in the quickest food haul 
of all time. But first, I'm going to get it all out of these bags, like that. Ah, uh, look at that witchery. She's a magician and a total cheese ball. The best sponge in the world, the scrub mom. Well, I actually, I have scrub daddy over here and I got scrub mommy. What about mommy? <laughs> mommy, have you ever seen that family feud? And have you seen that TikTok where it's like, I don't give a goddamn, well, I'm about to die anyway. Why would I give a shit? <laughs> yeah, I'll put that video in here right now. I don't give a goddamn how famous I am or whatever. It don't matter to me because I'm about dead anyway. So what do I give a shit? And then we have the free and clear laundry pads, pods. I'm doing a taco night. I thought spicy jalapeno cheddar taco shells sounded good. We're going to do jalapenos, good old fashioned, fashioned Mexican cheese, and some refried beans. And then I'm actually going to do the tacos with just some vegan meat. I've been having a weird issue with eating beef lately. My brain is not enjoying it. These chips are so good. They're like healthy Doritos, if you if there is such a thing. It's just an all natural organic corn chip with cheddar flavoring and it's to die. I got the pita thins because the thicker ones like break my teeth. We got roasted red pepper hummus and then this everything toast to go with the pita. Avocados for various things, lots of veggies, um, grapes just to grab for when you want to bite. Look at how big those grapes are. Those look so good. And then Waterloo. Waterloo is supposed to be BPA free and PP, PPA free or whatever it's called. And I think that if you're enjoying something and you're trying not to drink alcohol, that if soda water once a night is what makes you happy, <laughs> If you can keep it from being, um, you know, if you can have chemical free, then choose that option. I will choose the option if it's there, but it feels like every day I learn that something that I love is just absolutely awful. And I hate that, you know, even the avocado thing, like I'm sitting here telling you guys, like cook with avocado oil or just not a seed oil and then not olive oils. Like olive oils are not good for cooking above a certain temperature. Something I just found out. morning. It's been a couple of days since I've seen you last, but I did spray this on. This will be my third day in a row of doing it. You probably can't tell, but I'm, I'm more tan. We have the foggiest, misty, most lovely morning. I love it when the weather is like this. I just, I don't know what it is about a foggy morning. It reminds me a little bit of snow, I think. It just feels like everything because of the weight of the density of the fog. It makes everything seem more quiet. I actually saw a post that was saying why it gets quiet when it snows. It was interesting to think like that's why it gets quiet. A couple things I have to go do later, but this morning it's 8.30 right now and I want to start my apple butter because it takes 10 hours. <laughs> was reading the ingredient list from my father-in-law who emailed it to me and he was like here you go enjoy hope you love it and I was like yes okay cool and then I didn't open it up until last night and I was like holy moly <laughs> it takes 10 hours in the slow cooker and I'm glad I was talking to my mother-in-law about it just because she was saying that she tried to speed it up once by cooking it a little bit warmer um, on like high and try to, to shorten the time. And sure, it's a doable thing, but she just mentioned it didn't turn out as good. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to cut corners. I'm fine with it taking time. Honestly, to me, that just sounds so nice to have apples and clove cooking slowly throughout the house, just aerating it with that delightful smell all day. 
I'm into it. <laughs> I'm really into it. So I'm excited about it. It's gonna be nice. It's gonna be a very like, you know, tis the season kind of activity to do. Sometimes you just gotta wake up and do your makeup. When I wake up. for you I want to try the I want to try this the stamp <laughs> I want to try this thing let's see if the stamp is stupid or not it's a really small subtle little wing but I actually don't hate it <laughs> I think it's kind of it's kind of cool so if you can see it has a little bit of a swoop to it so that it lifts instead of just gotta make sure you get them to match <sighs> i really try not to blink and there's that one this isn't this is actually really cool i was skeptical of it but if you struggle with wings holy moly you guys how fast is that? That is really great. I'm over here being all, I don't know. And it's like, no, this is really cool. But yeah, if you were somebody who like struggled with doing a wing, you always make them too big. You want just a small flick. You want something quick. Those are really, really convenient. <laughs> I loved that. I'm done. There's my wing. Done deal. Going with a little YSL lip. Wonderful. We are going to freckle today. I haven't been freckling this week just because I've been kind of like, well, I'm just going to enjoy just the beauty marks, but we're going to freckle. That thing is so freaking quick. I'm going to go make the apple butter, make myself a coffee, and I'll show you what I'm wearing because that's what we do here. It's apple butter time. Apple butter time. That's five pounds. I have three extra apples. Should I just save those? Maybe for a salad? Five pounds of apples is just basically like this many. My husband is golfing today, so it's a good thing there was no frost delay on the uh, grass this morning. Things that you start looking at when you're the wife of a golfer. Frost delays. Because <laughs> frost delays can really bum them out. They prefer to go in the morning because then they have the whole rest of their day. So he still like, it's like his weekend. And he still gets up really early. I don't, I just don't get it. To me, the weekend is, you know, the time you want to sleep in and catch up on some good old R&R. &R. And he's like setting his alarm to get up to go golf. But you know what? He's an early riser and he always has been since I've known him. I'm more of a eight o'clock in the morning kind of gal. I think that's fair. This calls for an apron. A festive apron. Look at this one. So cute. That's the perfect apron. That's my lipstick in my back pocket. That way we don't mess things up. And the collar is cute with it. I need a photo for the gram. I'm also gonna go pull my hair back. This is going to be so fun. I've already washed and rinsed the apples, so they are good to go on that. So we're just gonna peel and chop the apples, it says. Do you know how long this is gonna take me? I, I need coffee. This is a pumpkin harvest pumpkin coffee day. Let's get the, uh, let's get the little babies an apple. Time. Nope. 
Okay, so just because I am a resourceful woman and I don't like wasting things, I have brown sugar that is in this like clump. And this calls for four cups of granulated sugar, but I like the idea of brown. And since this is in such a big clump, I feel like it'll slowly be able to like melt into the sugar. <laughs> and I think that's about two cups right there. Some regular sugar. Now we need two teaspoons of cinnamon. That's a half. A fourth of a teaspoon of ground cloves. These are whole cloves. Mm. That is working and it smells so good. Oh my gosh. So if you ever need to grind your cloves, a coffee grinder works. Lovely. Look at that. And I need a quarter of a teaspoon, it says. I made that happen. Here, I have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna go for it with that. And then now we have a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. All right, and then it says cover it, cook on high for one hour, and then after an hour, turn it to low, give it a stir, and cook it for 10 to 12. Holy mackerel. There. Simmer pot. It's even, it's even labeled, just in case anybody is like, why is there a disgusting bag of apple carcasses in your freezer? I'm actually gonna put this in our big freezer. We have like a backup big freezer. That's where we put the dog food, like, cause I do chicken thigh and veggies for the dogs. And I um, store all of that out there. It's got all of our backup stuff. And uh, that's gonna go in there, so. Simmer pot, done. Now here's what I'm thinking. How good would apple butter be on pumpkin bread? What? Bake another project. So this is dry, add to wet, I'll be right back. All right, now we have some lovely looking batter. That look, actually looks really good. I just wanna scoop my hand in it, but I'm not going to, because that is raw flour. And that would give me the shits. So I'm not gonna, not gonna do that to myself. But uh, let's go ahead and pour this into the prepared pan. Look at that. That just looks absolutely delightful. It's so orange. Kind of working it into the pan. Alexa, set the timer for 55 minutes. Okay, the bread is out and it is resting and cooling off a little bit. We have about seven hours left in the slow cooker. I could just do this every day. It smells so good in this house right now. It smells like, like a apple cider. You know, when you drink apple cider, it smells like how that tastes. It's like cinnamon and apple. <sighs> Goodness, oh my gosh, it's so, it's so good. Okay, so we're gonna go run errands now. I wanted to show you the outfit. So yeah, I'm wearing some vintage Levi jeans, a thrifted Tommy Hilfiger top, my Nike Air Force Ones, thrifted Louis Vuitton bag, thrifted Gucci belt. It's like mostly thrift wear and vintage goals. Anyway, I'm going to go um, actually take these dogs for a walk and wait for this target order. I don't know what's taking them so long to pull the cans. I honestly kind of regret just not going in and getting it because I thought I was going to just like go run errands, pull up, pull up, pull up and do a couple quick just pull ups. Don't have to get out. And now it's like turned into a whole situation where I would rather just honestly, is it ready? It's ready. All right, so this is the pumpkin bread. Oh, let's give this pumpkin bread a little taste. I'm just gonna eat the end here. That's good. I feel like the fluff ratio is, a, uh, if it was between a one and a five, I'd give it a five. Very fluffy. Biscoff. That's good. Mmm. <laughs> oh, damn. Mmm. 
that. <laughs> With the biscuit. Oh my God, that's good. Look at that. Oh. The smell. Oh, it's falling apart. It's absolutely falling apart. I think I need to get in and mash it when it's about halfway and then let it just reduce. Canning drawers, aren't they so cute? But look at my dogs. <laughs> look at their feet. Look at their feet. So guess who's about to get a bath? You, you're gonna get a bath. I love how dogs in particular, Shih Tzus, <laughs> look like wet baby seals when they're in the bath. Okay, I need all my hands. I commend anybody who makes apple butter and films it all in one day because there's no way. <laughs> this still has four hours left. It will be dark here in 30 minutes and I will be, well, I'm so hot from just giving them a bath and then like running around and going on that walk and I wore that like vest thing, which is great, but I almost could have like skipped it just because I, I did like a little bit of a speed walk just so we all got exercise. Good morning. It actually is the next day and find some light. Um, I took off my lashes and my nails, so I'm just like naked sienna. <laughs> but I'm in the middle of doing the apple butter and I just wanted to finish this off. The water bath about to boil, but I did um, blend it. So I put it in a blender and gave it a really big whip in the blender. I'm realizing maybe I just want to invest in like all of the canning equipment, like the can even the canning pot. I heard the seal pop. Which one was it? It's this one. Cool. It's working.